Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 5th of 2020, well, it is titled North of Orion's Belt. So what do we see north of Orion's belt? Well, we know south of Orion's belt, we do see the Orion Nebula, which is a large star forming region. But the whole of Orion is filled with various nebulae and we see three different types of nebula here. And what we see down towards the lower right hand side is M78, which is a reflection nebula. Now this occurs when dusty material is near new stars, young stars, hot stars that have formed. And those stars will shine and primarily with blue light and the dust grains will reflect that blue light to Earth. So we get the glow there essentially reflected stars starlight and it's primarily blue because the shorter wavelengths are the ones that are better reflected. So it is much easier for the dust to scatter the blue light than it is the red giving the nebula its blue color. Now stretching across the middle of the image we see part of what is known as Barnard's loop or which is an example of an emission nebula. Now this shines by a different process. The gas here hydrogen gas is excited by hot stars. And when the ultraviolet radiation from those stars hits hydrogen, or any other element, it will remove electrons and excite those electrons. And when they recombine and go down to their lowest most stable energy, they give off specific wavelengths of light. So what we would see is just that red glow that is specifically associated with hydrogen. Now, if we were to look at both of these nebulae through a spectrum, we would see that the emission nebula would give off just very specific wavelengths. It would not be continuous like the colors of the rainbow. Whereas the blue reflection nebula, although it looks primarily blue, would also be more of a continuous spectrum, would see all different colors, and would be really just the spectrum of the star or stars that are giving it that uh, color. So the third nebula that we see is out in the upper left, and it's the dark dust cloud that we see there. And that is a, what we'd call a dark nebula. It's actually a lot of dust there and in fact enough dust that blocks out the light of the stars from behind it. So we find that dust will can block out stars and it can make some stars seem dimmer depending on the amount of dust. It also will redden the starlight and some of the stars right near the edge of it will look unusually red uh, compared to what they should look like. And that is for the same reason as what we talked about with the reflection nebula. The dust is much much better at scattering out blue light, meaning that the only light that comes through is the deeper red. And it's a very similar reason to why the sunset looks very red. All of the shorter wavelengths have been scattered out of the sunlight, or in this case, the star light, and leaving only the very deepest reds that can make it through uh, the dust. So if the dust gets thick enough, none of the light gets through. But right along the edges, you can see some stars that look very, very deep red. So here we get to see three distinct types of nebulae around the area of Orion, and in this case, north of Orion's belt. So that was our picture of the day for November the 5th of 2020. It was titled North of Orion's Belt. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.